What's going on, YouTube? Chris Peters here with the Entrepreneur Power Hour, coming to you live through the power of YouTube. And I've got another video for you guys, actually. Um, <laughs> the video I want to talk about tonight is the difference between those who make it and those who don't. Well, I'm sure you guys know, well, maybe some of you don't, maybe some of you do. People who make it don't make excuses. People who make it don't spend 20 hours a day doing this. I wonder what's on TV today. Or, oh, oh, gotta get that high score. Oh, gotta get that high score. Oh, oh, gotta get that high score. Oh, 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 I, I got 14 kills in a row, man. I'm qualifying for the for the e-tournament. I'm gonna make 250,000 because I'm so good at video games. Eh? Fine. If you can make a career out of wasting time on gaming, go for it. But the majority of us would like to do something a little more productive <laughs> for our people, for society, for the human race. I happen to kind of fall into that category. Well, I do fall into that category, and so does my best friend Kareem Mays and our entire Entrepreneur Power Hour panel. So tonight, guys, I was coming to you live and I want to talk to you guys about my personal development journey so far and different things that I'm doing to achieve a success consciousness. It all starts with this book right here. And I did talk about this in my last video, which I'm currently uploading, part of the Entrepreneur Power Hour recap. Negative experience, turning around negative experiences and thriving through them. So I, right now I want to give you guys a bit more insight into me and how I've been able to turn myself around and start to cultivate a success consciousness. It starts with this book right here. Awesome book. I'm also going to be sharing the rest of my books with you guys that I have not read yet but have recently purchased. So this one, absolutely essential. And follow this book, The Complete Wealth Build... The, uh, uh, bleh, sorry. The Master Wealth Builders Complete an Original Lesson Plan for Achieving Your Dreams. Now, typically people spend eight hours a day at work. What do they spend the other six hours doing before they go to bed? Television. Why do that when you can spend six hours reading this? And then making videos and going or getting that assignment, getting that thing done that you said you wanted to do that's going to push you further towards your successful career. Makes sense to me. Do I enjoy leisure time? Yes. Do I game? Occasionally. Do I go out and party? Occasionally. 85% of my time is spent working on me. It's kind of essential, guys. All right, so the next book we're going to look at is No Excuse by Jay Riffenberry. Awesome book. Haven't read it yet. Bought this book a little under a year ago. Really looking forward to getting into this one. I mean, there it is. No Excuse can't have an excuse. You have an excuse, you're going to quit. Your dreams won't become reality. And then you're going to be one of those naysayers that goes, hey, walking around, oh, I just can't do this, man. I just can't do this. My life's miserable, man. I'd rather sit around and play video games and watch television and... <sighs> don't even talk to me. If you're... <laughs> don't even come at me with excuses. Because they don't exist. There are only two things that are reality. Reasons and results. Guess what? The first one doesn't count. <laughs> you don't got if you, whatever reason you want to come up with, it's an excuse. You don't have one. Make the change, guys. Next book we're going to talk about is Emotional Intelligence by Daniel Goleman. I haven't read this one yet, yet, but really looking forward to getting into it. Uh, the groundbreaking book that redefines what it means to be smart. It's gonna be a good read. Uh, why it can matter more than IQ. Hmm. Think about that. Um, yeah, impressive in its scope and depth, staggering in its implication. Emotional intelligence gives us an entirely new way of looking at the root causes of many of the ills of our families and our societies. That's just one quote from there. Uh, actually, really looking forward to getting into this one as well. Next one we're gonna look at. Living the oops, sorry, Living the Seven Habits by Stephen R. Covey or Stephen. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Whatever, Stephen or Stephen R. Covey, author of the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. 
really, guys, the knowledge is there. You don't have an excuse. Looking forward to really getting into this one. Uh, Jack Canfield's endorsing Richard Carlson, Ken Blanchard, Mark Victor Hansen. Gee, really? I pff, Awesome. John Gray and Larry, he was on Larry King. I mean, knowledge is power if you apply it. You could read these books and still be like, No, or just gotta get that one extra kill. And you, no, no, I'm sorry. You have the time. Don't make excuses. Well, I just don't have time to work on myself. Then don't expect to get ahead. Don't expect to have money in the bank, lots of money in the bank. Don't expect to be living your dream. Because there's, you sleep, you work, you eat. You do have the time. You can find the time in there somewhere, even two to three hours a day. So. Next book, The Moral Advantage, How to Succeed by Doing the Right Thing by William Damon. Really looking forward to getting into this one, too. I think it's going to be an awesome, awesome book. And Achieve Success by Employing Not Compromising Ethics. Where did we hear this before? Oh, right, Earl Nightingale's Lead the Field. <gasps> it's there, guys. Find the knowledge, research, do what you got to do. Really looking forward to getting into that one. And last but not least... The course I just finished taking, Pay Me What I'm Worth by Soul Dancer. Really, really awesome book. Need to go through it again. Will go through it again. Going to do the exercises again. Going to keep doing this course for the rest of my life. Going to be teaching it after I get my certification. I did not achieve my certification yet because Kareem Mays paid for me to take the course. Kareem, I love you, buddy. You're my business partner, bro, for life, man. We got each other's back. I am paying him off. Once I pay him off, I will be achieving my certification as a paid instructor for Pay Me What I'm Worth. So guys, I mean, there it is. Take daily action. Do what you got to do. Don't make excuses. Don't let other people tell you, you can't do it, man. You can't do it, man. You can do anything. Cheers.